Lindy Wemokoro. I am your teacher for grade two literacy. Today we are going to learn about the present tense. Remember to attend your classes every day from 11 o'clock. On the screen you see my contacts. My name is Lindy Wemokoro. And my email address is mohorolindiwe at gmail.com. And my Twitter handle is at mohorolind. All right, let's continue. We, on the, on the previous lessons, we learned more about nouns. I think you know what a noun is. Last time I requested you to look around in the house and tell me what do you see. I know that there are things around you. I can see your chair. I can see your walls. I can see your tables. All that are nouns. What is a noun? A noun is the name of a thing, a place, animals, and etc. Right. When we have nouns, they can be in a singular or in a plural forms. Right, check here. We have nouns in a singular and in a plural forms. For example, on the word that ends with y, this y, it changes to e, a, s means the word can be lady in a singular form. In a plural form, it tends to be ladies. We have words that ends with x, x, box, box. And in a plural form, we add s, boxes, boxes. Right, these are book, the, the example of a word, in a singular form, it's book. In a plural form, we add s, that's books. Let's continue. We have nouns which do not follow the same formula. That singular or plural form, they don't change. Words like blood, blood, blood stains, stays blood. It doesn't change. That's what we did in, the pre in our previous lesson. Today, I want us to learn about the present tense. Present, not as a gift, but present means now. The present tense tells us that the action is happening now. An action happens now. What are you doing now? Tutugani is watching the video. Nuntlantla is listening to the teacher. You are doing it now. Right, let's go back to a verb. A verb is a word that expresses an action. A, a verb is a word that expresses an action. Actions like sleep, cry, Jump, hung, watch as you're doing, write, etc. Right, let's listen. When the sentence is in the singular form and in the present form, which is what in the present tense, which is what is happening now, the verb ends with s. The verb ends with s. Words like or sentences like, he sleeps early. He sleeps early. This indicating or showing to us the sentence is in the present tense. Thank you, Vichila. Give me a sentence that you like. Any sentence? Right. It says, he sleeps early. There's another sentence. She 
jumps high. She jumps high. Where is the verb? Which is the verb here? Jumps. The verb is jumps because it's in the present tense and in the singular form, you read like she jumps high. Right, it's just that you need not to forget that when the sentence is in the plural form and in the present tense, in the, in the singular form, in the present tense, we add s. Right, they sleep early, we do not add s. When the sentence in the plural form and in the present tense, we do not add s. Now the sentence will remain like, they sleep early. That's the difference. They sleep early. They means more than one. She, we talked about, that talks about one person only. They can be asked in the classroom. They read, they learn. Tutugani reads. Nontanta reads. In a plural form, teacher and her learners, they read. That's in a plural form. Let's continue. I know today you did something before you come to class. Right? I want us to recap the verbs. All the highlighted in yellow are the verbs. It, pray. But they are all in a singular form. Why? When you look at all the highlighted verbs, why do I say they are in a singular form and in a present tense? Right? Let's see. In the evening, I eat supper. This is what I do before I go to sleep. Tutugan, what do you see? What do you do before you go to sleep? You're going to share that with me tomorrow. Natanta, you're going to share that with me tomorrow. Right, what teacher does every day before she goes to sleep? In the evening, I eat supper. I bath before I go to sleep. That's what I do every day. Remember on our previous lessons where we read about Gabela who went to a tooth doctor. She, he was told that every day he must brush his teeth twice a day, in the morning and in the evening before he goes to sleep. Then we say, I bath before I go to sleep. Gabriel would say, I brush my teeth before I go to sleep and in a circular motion. Right, let's do this again. I pray before I go to sleep. I pray before I go to sleep. I trust that everyone, before you go to sleep, you pray. Let's continue. Remember, don't forget these highlighted words are the verbs. Right, let's continue. Right. I want us to read a short story. Okay, I wonder if I see all my words here. My family, read the passage, let's read together. My family, we are a family of four. It is my dad, my elder brother Tabo, our young sister Luandle, and myself. My name is Jimmy. We go to church together every Sunday. We all have duties to do. I cook and my brother Tabo clean, cleans and works in the garden. 
our younger sister, Luanle, cleans our home. My father works at the mine. He pays our school fees and buys food for the family or for our family. We are a happy family. Every evening we sing together. Are you able to follow the passage? Right. I want you to look at the passage. Can you see the passage? Can you tell me which are the verbs here? The verbs. Let's do it together. We are a family of four. It is my dad, my elder brother, Tabo, our younger sister, Luanle, and myself. Lirato? Thank you. What do we do? We go to church together every Sunday. Go is our verb. Cook is our verb. Cleanse is our verb. My father works is our verb. Buys is our verb. Sing is our verb. Right, let's continue. Right, we, I want us to go to our passage and list all the verbs again. Can you do that for me? Tutugani, cook, can you, can you read? Go, cook, cleans, waters. Remember, Tabo waters the garden every day. Works, our dad works at the mine. He pays our school fees. He buys food for the family. We sing every day before we go to sleep, or we sing as a family. Right, from the passage, I love you on your own, my angel. You write your own sentence using these highlighted words, like go, cook, works, buys. Remember your sentence should be in a present tense. Your sentence should be in a present tense. Right, let's continue. I want us to work together. You have a work to do now, we're doing together. You see, you have so many homeworks that teacher Lindy gives you. What do you understand about and cycle? And cycle, you're going to cycle around the word, right? Let me read the sentence to you. On Tuesday, I go or I goes to school. What is the correct verb that you use in a present tense? Okay, I can hear you. Right. The second one says, I Cooks, cook the meat. I cooks, cook meat. Number one, number two, what are you going to say? I cook the meat. Sorry about this. I cook the meat. This is what I'm doing now. Because remember, we said it should be in a present tense. Tabo, work works in the garden. Tabo, work, works in the garden. And cycle the correct one. The boys, remember, 
if we see s at the end of the noun means it's in the plural form. The boys buy buys speedy cars. What do they do? And cycle the correct one. Okay, would you do that for me? We'll share that tomorrow. Right. We do that tomorrow when we meet again. We are going to share what you've done for teacher Lindy. Hope you've enjoyed this lesson and keep warm, my angel. Remember, you want to send teacher Lindy your homework. It should be homework at teen, it at Africa Teen Geeks dot on Microsoft dot com. If you lose that number, please use info at africatinkicks.co.za. Bye, my angel. I'll see you tomorrow and keep warm. Ah, uh, Ulewahin, I didn't see you.